And I thought I'd do a little vlog for you today. I'm out here on the back of my property looking around, checking out this old train yard coal stove. Oh, it probably weighs a thousand pounds. It's made out of cast iron. We used to stand around stoves like this in the train yard, fill them full of coal, and get a raging fire going in them to the point at nighttime they would glow red. Need some repair. Need to repair the grate in it. Put a latch on that old door on the stove. But it, it'll burn fire right now. I could throw some of this pile of firewood laying out here. Get a pretty good fire going in it right now. I put this stove out of here, out here 20 years ago. Ain't often you get a chance to acquire one. This one was in one of the train yards for many years. The purpose of my blog today is just to update you on basically what's been going on. Went to the endocrinologist to see about my thyroid. I assume we go right in there and he'd make an appointment to remove it because that's what my other doctor said it needs to come out. But this guy, being an expert in the field, says that there's a test that hadn't been done yet that would document whether I even need to take my thyroid. It might be already burned out and I can live with it just like it is. The damage that's done to my immune system by my pituitary gland might be done did all the damage it can do, but he'll know in two weeks whether he's going to surgically remove it or, or whether I'm going to live with it the rest of my life. Maybe in the spring I'll get out here and we'll do a fire in this thing. Maybe even later in the winter. You know, I was a railway carman for my entire career with Norfolk Southern Railway. And when you retire, you don't quit becoming a carman. You're a carman for the rest of your life. It's instilled in you. Uh, it's like any other craft. For example, a policeman. He might retire, but he's a cop the rest of his life. Your brain is w wired that way. To, if you were a doctor or a lawyer, you might retire, but you're still a doctor or a lawyer. Same way with a railroader. When you're a railroader, you're a railroader for life. And what I mean by that is, you don't quit being a railroader even though you're not working at the railroad anymore. A good example would be when I sleep at night, I still dream about the railroad. You have no controls over your dream system. But it ain't uncommon for me to be repairing the train car or driving down a road in my railroad truck going somewhere, laying there asleep at night. That's from the many years that I actually did that kind of work. And your brain is wired that way. So uh, I wrote a poem on my website. It goes something like this. I'm a car knocker. A poem by Walter Parks. It all began back in 69 when I hired on with the Southern Railway Line. A job that required much use of my brains. I surely may have been off on my rocker to, ev to ever become a railroad car knocker. For 34 years I worked out of doors. Many of my tasks were wearisome chores. In all hours of the day and all kinds of weather, I wore out my share of the old shoe leather. Helped keep the trains going and moved a lot of freight. Kept clothes on my family's back and food on their plate. But it was oh so hard due to the inflation rate. Did a lot of welding, was handy with a torch. Only occasionally myself I did scorch. Worked on the derrick, a huge brown hoist crane. Rode it to the wrecks, picked up many a train. Spent twenty years at an outlying point. Twice had surgery on the old knee joint. When trains broke down, the car knocker was around. When the trains derailed, the car knocker prevailed. I was always there. When me they did need, I was always there with utmost speed. Then came the day when I got hurt. They cast me aside like so much dirt. The work you did we truly admire. Now we feel you must retire. To the goals you set, now others aspire. We can't use you no more. So there's the front door. As I pass into the fall of my life, 
I surely remember all the toil and strife. I look back with pride into all confide. I'm a car knocker till the day I've died. Thanks for listening, my friends.